my dear students and viewers i am going to give information about the role of chemistry in various engineering branches or streams in several ways hi i am dr manju professor and hod of chemistry department at maharaja institute of technology mysore chemistry is an essential foundation for various engineering branches enabling engineers to design analyze and optimize the systems or materials and processes a strong understanding of chemistry enhances the ability of engineers to innovate new things to solve complex problems and contribute to technological advancements in their respective fields engineering students may want to study chemistry for several reasons as per vtu the chemistry is divided into four streams now chemistry is required for the computer science streams civil engineering streams mechanical engineering streams and as well as electrical and electronic streams now i'll take a first one electronics and electrical stream students why should they going to study chemistry i give some examples now as a engineer now generally the engineers are the innovators or designers now engineering is the mixture of science and technology engineering is a science and technology now without technology science is not upgraded or without science technology is not possible science and technology. now out of four streams now i'll take a first uh, electrical and electronic students now electronic and electrical stream students why should going to study the chemistry that are uh, importance is what i going to take up first one example is the battery now all electronic equipments all electronic gadgets they are working on the base of battery without battery our gadgets they are not work properly okay therefore to construct or to design that battery the engineer should have some knowledge the fundamental properties of metals and materials otherwise he can't construct the battery now generally in the beginning days batteries is constructed by taking a metals but metals they are not available in the earth crust in the free state now all metals are available in the earth crust in of combined form but to variety of engineering applications they required pure metals the pure metals are extracted by using some metallurgical techniques or metallurgical process after extraction of metals then only going to use now as a engineer to construct the battery they required some chemical knowledge what is the chemical reactions between electrodes and electrolytes and what type of electrodes they going to use and uh, they required acid or base or water now generally for making batteries they required there are minimum there are two electrodes for example now battery is constructed by any engineers now because all electronic goods are they working by the help of batteries now the anode and cathode what type of reaction is takes place at anode what type of reaction takes place at cathode that knowledge is required before construction of batteries now the electrodes are connected to direct connect and these electrodes are immersed in a electrolyte now in the beginning they are constructed there are two types of batteries the heavy metals they are used nickel cadmium batteries are uh, acid batteries lead acid batteries and nickel cadmium batteries earlier days they are using after know the characteristic properties of the metals and materials they are modified so many innovative thinkings is carried out in battery technology now earlier they going to use the platinum electrodes both the platinum electrodes are immersed in a electrolyte the electrolyte it may be acid or it may be base if you use sulfuric acid that is an 5 molar sulfuric acid is used as electrolyte in batteries that knowledge is required before construction of battery of any engineers okay now acid electrolyte that we call it as acid batteries if you are used at alkaline there is an alkaline battery but in addition to sulfuric acid they are going to use the separate chamber is provided for distilled water now they are not used 
common water for electrolysis because sulfuric acid does not undergo electrolysis water is undergo electrolysis in batteries to become safety purpose and also to become more durability the constructor or the designer should know the chemical reaction between electrodes and electrolyte and what type of electrolyte is required and what chemical reaction takes place that knowledge is required then only they can construct a good materials or good goods okay now here what will happen sulfuric acid actually in presence of acid water undergo electrolysis that converted into hydrogen and oxygen gases that liberate hydrogen and oxygen gases that liberated hydrogen and oxygen gases is adsorbed on the surface of the electrodes adsorbed on the surface of the electrodes get charging okay now to balance the equation just you can put this on uh, two oxygen okay likewise now this is the knowledge is required for any electronic equipments now they are modified the new innovations is carried out in electronic uh, gadgets now earlier days they require high weight batteries and also they become acid batteries the maintenance is required the new technology and new techniques after understanding the fundamentals of chemistry background and there they are modified and they are searching a new metals instead of cadmium or magnesium or lead nowadays they are using lithium batteries now comparatively the properties and materials properties of the materials they know the fundamentals then only they can modify it or they are only they can innovate new things now the battery become very lightweight nowadays because of lithium metals we are using the chemistry background of lithium metal is a high negative potential compared to all other metals lightweight and quickly charge up this all the properties are known to the designer then only they can design a good uh, products okay that's why each and every step even for electronics and electrical students they required uh, conductors insulators even semiconductors for any electronic gadgets they are working by use of semiconductors diodes now semiconductors is not available directly or free form in the earth crust that is in the combined form the semiconductor only there are two silicon and the germanium this silicon and germanium is available in the earth crust in the form of sand or quartz that cannot directly converted into free state therefore they required chemical background they are going to do their seven steps of chemical reaction to extract the pure semiconductors even after extraction of pure semiconductors they are not directly used because the semiconductor characteristic property is at room temperature do not conduct current at higher temperature it conduct current but to design any electrical goods or electronic goods they required the conductor should conduct the current even at room temperature therefore the pure semiconductors are modified they convert into n type and p type semiconductor by doping of other metals the doping of other metals to the crystal then only you get n type and p type semiconductors these semiconductors are able to conduct the current at room temperature that can be used as a materials for the construction of any electrical and electronic goods okay likewise even they required to understand the chemical properties and reaction between the electrodes electrolytes are essential for storing and releasing energy even that electronic and electrical stream students to study these chemical properties e waste management is also required energy conversion and storage that is an example is a battery now earlier days the batteries are prepared only the chargeable batteries there is a only once you charge it the discharging takes place that is only primary battery after that they are modified the even reversible reaction is carried out by understanding the chemical process then they are construct their rechargeable batteries after rechargeable batteries are coming under secondary batteries they going to recharge it it undergo chemical reaction now after applying charge they become reversible reaction by discharging process the forward reaction now this type of chemical background if you know that then only can easy to design the the good batteries or any 
uh, gazettes of electrical and electronics. Even for polymers are required for electrical to conduct the current, the metals are required. Not only that metal, on the surface of the metal coating of insulating layer is also important. That is done by chemical process, the polymers. Even nowadays, the polymers or electrical goods, they are made up of the thermosetting plastic. But earlier days, they are doing thermoplastic. Nowadays, they, uh, they are using thermosetting plastic. Thermosetting plastic uh, properties are, when short circuit takes place, earlier plastic what we are using, that plastic melts when short circuit takes place. But nowadays what you are using thermosetting plastic, but thermosetting plastics are prepared by using phenol and formaldehyde. There is a chemicals. By using these chemical, nowadays the all electrical goods are uh, manufactured by using phenol and formaldehyde. These two are undergo condensation reaction and it form a product that we call it as thermoplastic. Thermoplastics, even some short circuit takes place, does not melt. It becomes very hard with respect to temperature. These things are understanding that then only they can get a good product as a designer, as an engineer. To become a perfect engineer, they required knowledge of all the subjects. Even physics, chemistry, math, even engineering subject, all the subjects they give their contribution or significance of that subject is more important. Each and every subject it contributes some significance. That to understand that significance, then only we become a perfect engineer. Yes, dear students, now I am going to give some introduction about the civil engineering stream students and as well as mechanical engineering stream students. Now, the construction of any building and bridges, the metals is required. Generally, the metal what we are using, that is a steel. But compared to all other metals, the steel is easily undergo corrosion. But how you are extracted, the metals, free metals are not available in earth crust. Now, in nature, the metals are available in the form of ore. There are four types of ores are available. First of all, that is an oxide form, carbonate form, bicarbonate form and sulphide form. Most of the metals are available in the earth crust in the form of oxide. Even the iron is also available in the earth crust in the form of ore. The extraction of ore, they require some chemical knowledge. The extraction of metal from its ore by using some metallurgical process. After extraction, all the metals are trying to get their original state that is called natural form. Therefore, they undergo oxidation. When undergo oxidation, the metal easily undergo corrosion. When undergo now, the engineers in various fields such as either maybe civil engineer or mechanical engineer or aerospace engineer need to understand the chemistry of corrosion and how to prevent it the rate of corrosion, how to control, they should know that some knowledge and then only become a good engineer or a perfect engineer. Protecting the materials from degradation due to chemical reaction is essential for the durability and safety of structures and equipments. The safety of structures and equipments and more durability if you want, they should understand as a designer the chemistry of reaction of corrosion and as well as how to prevent it that is important chemistry is fundamental to understanding the properties and behavior of materials such as metals even polymers even ceramic compounds and composites engineers use chemical principles to design and synthesize new materials with specific properties and applications Chemistry helps engineers analyze the structure of materials at the atomic and molecular level which influence their mechanical, electrical and thermal properties. Even electrical and electronic engineers, they are required to understand chemistry. Chemistry is involved in the development of materials used in electronic equipment, equipments such as semiconductors, conductivity of polymers and insulators. Nowadays even conductivity of polymers, conducting polymers also available, they can be manufactured by chemical process. They can easy to uh, production of 
the conducting polymers okay the electrodes nowadays they are prepared by using conducting polymers this all things are required whether it is civil engineering whether it is mechanical engineering or electronics engineering or computer science engineering chemistry background is required even day to day life chemistry is involved okay the engineers in this field really in chemistry to optimize the properties and materials for electronic applications now we come to the respect to civil engineering as a environmental engineering subject the environmental engineers work on project related to pollution control waste management solid waste management and sustainability that is more important even electronic equipments or electronic gadgets they become e waste the e waste can be uh, destroyed now properly by using some methods that is also important to understand chemical process what type of metals they are used what will happen what is the pollution is created on air or water or soil that will affect on all the field to control that pollution either air or water or soil the equipment should be prepared by knowledge is required to get a good equipment the chemistry knowledge is required now environmental engineers work on project related to pollution control or e waste management or solid waste management and sustainability chemistry is a crucial for analyzing and treating pollutants designing water and air purification systems designing of water and air purification systems the chemistry knowledge is required and assessing the environmental impact of various engineering activities that's why there is most important the chemistry knowledge to manufacturing of any equipments related to control the pollutions okay likewise for mechanical students the chemistry plays a vital role in energy generation and storage technologies now energy generation now actually the energy is generated by in ic engines by the combustion of fuels but combustion is takes place in presence of oxygen and it produces combustible products that is called greenhouse gases to control that greenhouse gases uh, emission they going to add some anti knocking agents to the fuel the anti knocking agents are chemicals how it react and how it control the emission of uh, combustible products that knowledge is required even that mechanical engineering students now the generation and storage of technologies for example the batteries and chemical reaction between electrodes and uh, electrolytes is essential for that and nanotechnology and electronics advances in the nanotechnology and electronics often really on the precise manipulation of atoms and molecules chemistry is at the core of nanoscale materials and devices enabling innovations in electronic sensors and nano material applications in environmental the environmental engineer works on projects related to pollution control or waste management e waste management or solid waste management and sustainability chemistry is a crucial for analyzing the testing pollutants and designing water and air purification systems and assessing the environmental impact on various engineering activities first of all the water purification the harvo system they are introducing even the required some amount of dissolved salts how much is required what will happen what is the reaction that should know that then they not only can purify the water or to design that instrument or the system purification systems therefore even engineering student whether it is electrical or electronics or computer science or mechanical or civil they should know the the fundamentals of chemistry that is more needed and then only it become a good engineer or perfect engineer for example in the mechanical stream the biofuels are using the biofuels are extracted now by the help of oils and fats the bio, nowadays they were using the biofuels there is a biodegradable fuels even biodegradable polymers you are using that how you can manufacture that should be understand the chemical background otherwise they are not able to get that products now to understand the chemical background or the properties of materials and metals then only can design the 
things or any manufacturing of instruments now the corrosion is the most important point in uh, respect to mechanical engineering or in the respect to civil engineering now how corrosion takes place how to control how to minimize the rate of corrosion that should understand what chemical reaction takes place in presence of acid what will happen in presence of base what will happen or in presence of uh, neutral solutions what will happen you know the chemical background or chemical reaction then only can easy to design the structure therefore the chemistry is needed for irrespective of branches and irrespective of uh, subject okay that's why all are here to concentrate on each and every subject they give their significance now each subject have their own significances that significations to understand then only you become a good engineer or perfect engineer thank you